Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, last class we started with IFOS, and uh, today is the second session for IFOS. In the very first session, I had told you what incomes will come under the head income from other sources. Uh, I have already told you that income from other sources is the residuary head of income. If any income we do not fall in the first four heads, will come under the head income from other sources. Certain incomes are always other sources, right? Uh, like dividend income, casual incomes, right? Uh, consideration. in excess of fair market value of share issued for private limited company right interest on initial oblique enhanced compensation and uh, then uh, gifts right gift of money and gift of property even even if i purchase property for less than uh, uh, adequate consideration then that case also this uh, gifting clause will apply okay so we will do one problem this was homework for last class so let us start Mr. A, a dealer of shares, right? He is the dealer of shares. He received the following uh, without consideration from his friend B. Now, friend does not come under relative, right? So, gift will be taxable. Not a relative. Gift is taxable, provided it is exceeding the monetary limit, right? so cash gift i have received of 75000 on his anniversary marriage is covered not anniversary so i will aggregate all the cash gifts and if the aggregate of cash gifts received is exceeding 50 then entire amount is taxable so this is cash gift okay then bullion this is movable property this is uh, cash this is uh, movable property the fair market value uh, of which was 60000 on his birthday so birthday is also not covered only marriage is covered right fine a plot of land this is um, a movable property a plot of land at faridabad on 1st july 2023 the stamp duty of which was 5 lakh now in case of immovable property we are going to see uh, individual asset wise so we can easily see that uh, this 5 lakh is exceeding rupees 50000 this is individual checking in case of cash gift and movable property we need to see aggregate but in case of uh, immovable property we are going to check individually so individually this is exceeding 50000 right so this is taxable if stamp duty value of the property that you have received as gift it is exceeding more than 50000 then it is taxable right now a purchase from his friend now this is uh, i have purchased so maybe yeah, maybe if i have purchased it for inadequate consideration then it might attract uh, me capital gain right Mr. A purchased from his friend C, who is also a dealer in shares, one uh, thousand shares of X Limited at the rate four hundred each on nineteen Ju uh, June, the fair market value of which was sixty six hundred each on that date. So uh, lesser consideration is two hundred into one thousand. That comes to two lakh, right? So this is. Uh, purchase of uh, <coughs> movable property for inadequate consideration further on 1st november he took possession of property um, this is office building booked by him 2 uh, years back at 20 lakh the stamp duty value as on 1st november was 32 lakh and on the date of booking was 23 lakh he had paid 1 lakh by account pay as down payment on the date of booking so if part performance is done so stamp duty value on the date of booking will be considered right not on the date of uh, registration right now stamp duty value is uh, 23 lakh and i have uh, booked it for 20 so there is a difference of 3 lakh 
so the, the difference uh, has to be more than 50000 and 10% of consideration so 50000 and 10% of consideration is 2 lakh higher of these two is 2 lakh right and the difference is 3 lakh difference is 3 lakh this is more than so again this uh, gifting clause will apply okay and he has sold this plot of land this which he has received as gift this plot he has sold right so this is capital gain this is not ifos so this will be capital gain so they have told us to calculate uh, income chargeable uh, in the hands of a uh, both under the head income from other sources as well as capital gain okay now please kindly give a reading see all the gifts has been received during the year Now, just let me take you to the summary part once, the one which we have done in the last session. In this case, if you see, we have cash gift. So for cash gift, we see aggregate. Fine. Then we have for movable property. This is gift. Means without consideration. And this is lesser consideration. For this 50,000 separate we have, for this 50,000 separate we have. Because, but aggregate, whatever gift of movable property you have received, uska aggregate we will see. Whatever movable property we have purchased for lesser consideration, uska aggregate difference we will see. These are two categories. Iske le alag se 50 hai, iske le alag se 50 hai. Same is with immovable property. Gift also 50. This is also 50. But individually, not aggregate. In our question, we can clearly see that five assets we have received as gift. If you carefully see, this is one, this is two, three, four, So cash gift we have only one. So this is aggregate is exceeding 50. So this is taxable. Aggregate of fair market value is exceeding 50. This is taxable. This I have already told you it is taxable. Individually. Now if you see this difference. The difference between the fair market value and the purchase price is 200 per share. For, for 1000 share it is 2 lakh. 
but i told you only receipt of capital asset or for without consideration or lesser consideration is taxable under the head ifos not stock in trade i am a dealer of share right i have purchased shares for lesser consideration so this section is not attracted because stock in trade is not covered under ifos is it okay this is capital asset no problem office building is capital asset only personal movable effect is not a capital asset statement showing cash gift since aggregate of cash gift is more than 50000 so pura 75000 is taxable billion since aggregate of fair market value of movable property received without consideration exceeds 50000 pura 65 taxable hai since stamp duty value of land without consideration right all cash gift taken together all movable property received without consideration taken together all individually sorry individually immovable property received without consideration now for lesser consideration also we have a separate limited since shares purchase of share at 
lesser consideration does not attract section 56 210 as mr a is a dealer of shares the section covers only capital asset not stock in trade right Right. Since difference of stamp duty value on the date of booking and purchase price that is rupees 3 lakh is more than rupees 2 lakh Two lakh is higher of fifty thousand or ten percent of twenty lakh. So difference three lakh is more than two lakh. IFOS seventy five sixty five one forty six forty Okay. So now we can see this. Exceeds 50. Sorry, Balian is 60,000. My mistake.
so it will be right this is talking trade for me now it, they have also mentioned that we have sold it in the ordinary course of business. My business is here. This is not for my investment purpose. And this is I have already explained to you. It is more than this. So 3 lakh is taxable. Now, with respect to capital gain, I would like to tell you something. Mr. X has gifted to Y. Okay, so for X, gift is an exempted transfer, no capital gain in the hands of Mr. X. Right? This is we know we have done it in capital gain. For Y. Check whether Y is liable to pay tax under the head IFOS as per section 56.27 because for why it is receipt of uh, property X ka to position ekdam clear hai gift exempted transfer mein aata hai लेकिन y का बात करो क्या y is liable to pay tax y is the receiving party ना receiving party of gift तो इसमें क्या है receive from relative will inheritance death etc etc so what happens section 56 to 10 does not apply hmm? IFOS is nil Hi, 
later on if sells the property so cost of acquisition previous owner period of holding previous owner indexation we have dono se kar sakte hain राइट right? ये हम लोग किया है कैपिटल गेन में अगर मेरे को रिलेटिव से मिला है विल इनहेरिटेंस डेथ जो गिवर है उसका तो कैपिटल गेन लगेगा नहीं रिसीवर का अदर सोर्सेस नहीं लगा लेकिन रिसीवर जब आगे जाके बेचेगा तो उसको कैपिटल गेन देना पड़ेगा कैपिटल गेन विल अराइज सो ये चीज ध्यान में रखना पड़ेगा ये हम लोग कर चुका है अब एक बात बताना अदर देन रिलेटिव दट इज फ्रेंड तो क्या होगा सेक्शन फिफ्टी सिक्स टू टेन विल अप्लाई आई एफ ओ एस टैक्सेबल जैसे मैं लैंड का बात करूं तो लैंड में पांच लाख मैंने टैक्स दिया दिया ना भैया देखो फ्रेंड से मिला तो पांच लाख टैक्स भरा ना IFOS में फाइव लाख टैक्सेबल पांच लाख का इनकम टैक्सेबल इस पर जो टैक्स होगा दे देंगे लेटर ऑन इफ मिस्टर वाई सेल्स द प्रॉपर्टी कैपिटल गेन विल अराइज बट यहां पे पॉइंट समझना पड़ेगा ये है सेक्शन फोर्टी नाइन वन इधर है सेक्शन फोर्टी नाइन फोर अमाउंट chargeable to tax under ifos plus amount paid agar maine ko diya bhi hai to to mera cost previous owner ka nahi mana jayega we'll start from डेट ऑफ गिफ्ट इंडेक्सेशन विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम डेट ऑफ गिफ्ट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ये फिर से बता रहा हूं एक्स ने वाई को गिफ्ट किया गिफ्ट ऐसे ही एग्जेमटेड है तो एक्स को कोई टैक्स नहीं देना कैपिटल गेन का नो कैपिटल गेन नो कैपिटल गेन आई एफ ओ एस रिसीवर के लिए होता है 
तो देखो मेरे को जो मिला वो आई एफ ओ इसमें टैक्सेबल है कि नहीं अगर रिलेटिव से मिला है विल इनहेरिटेंस डेथ तो आई एफ ओ इसमें टैक्सेबल नहीं होगा तो सब कुछ प्रीवियस ओनर के हिसाब से मेरा कॉस्ट प्रीवियस ओनर मेरा प्रीड ऑफ होल्डिंग प्रीवियस ओनर इंडेक्सेशन भी प्रीवियस ओनर लेकिन अगर मैंने आई एफ ओ एस के तहत टैक्स दे दिया है तो मेरा कॉस्ट जिस अमाउंट पे मैंने टैक्स दिया प्लस अमाउंट पेड मेरे से पीरियड ऑफ होल्डिंग स्टार्ट होगा मेरे से इंडेक्सेशन शुरू होगा ठीक है तो हमारे इस केस में देखो मिस्टर ए हैज ऑलरेडी बीन चार्ज टू टैक्स अंडर द हेड आई for receipt of land jo free mein mere ko mila na therefore capital gain will be calculated as follows sabse pehla period of holding period of holding jis din se humko gift mila hai first july Not April two thousand nine. ये नहीं होगा और हमने मार्च चौबीस को बेच दिया है Short term capital asset. Cost of acquisition is amount charge to tax plus amount paid so amount charge to tax is 5 lakh plus paid is 0 so that is 5 lakh now we have computation of short term capital gain Full value of consideration. I have sold it for seven lakh. Already, तो मैं पांच लाख रुपया पे दे चुका हूं टैक्स
तो वही मेरा कॉस्ट मान लिया जाएगा एस टी सी जी ओके okay, चलिए देव क्लियरली मेंशन हियर इज नॉट टू बी कंसिडर्ड ओके डिस्कस द टैक्सीबिलिटी Akhil Achyev received seventy-five thousand in cash from niece of Akhil. Uski uh, sister ki daughter. Check it. नीतिशा अ मेंबर ऑफ हर फादर्स एच यू एफ शी इज द मेंबर शी हेज ट्रांसफर्ड हाउस प्रॉपर्टी टू एच यू एफ विदाउट कंसिडरेशन मैरिज एनिवर्सरी मैरिज एनिवर्सरी से मतलब नहीं मैरिज इज रेलिवेंट तो सौ शेयर उसको गिफ्ट मिला है फेयर मार्केट सौ दस हजार होता है और He also received jewelry worth forty-five thousand from his nephew. My family का definition आपको दिखाऊंगा. उसके बाद फिर मैं आपको करवाऊंगा.
सन ऑफ कर्ता को फॉर अचीविंग गुड मार्क्स इन क्लास ट्वेल्व बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन उसके लिए चारों इंडिपेंडेंट केस है चारों का एक दूसरे से कोई लेना देना नहीं है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मैं आपको फैमिली uh, का डेफिनेशन दिखाता हूं लेट एस डू वंस अगेन हजबेंड स्पाउस वाइफ दोनों का ब्रदर सिस्टर ब्रदर सिस्टर ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल ब्रदर सिस्टर ऑफ द स्पाउस ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल माई मदर फादर इनके ब्रदर सिस्टर मेरा असेंडेंट मेरा डिसेंडेंट मेरा वाइफ का असेंडेंट उसका डिसेंडेंट और इन सभी का बेटर हाफ एच के केस में वही रिलेटिव माना जाएगा जो एच का मेंबर है अखिल एच में मेरी बहन की बेटी मेंबर नहीं होगी सो दिस इज टैक्सेबल एस नीस नॉट अ मेंबर ऑफ एच यू एफ वेन एच यू एफ इज रिसीविंग गिफ्ट इट हैज टू बी मेंबर नॉट रिलेटिव ऑफ सच मेंबर यहां पे नीतिशा इज अ मेंबर ऑफ एच यू एफ शी हैज गिफ्टेड सो दिस इज नॉट टैक्सेबल नेफ्यू नॉट अ रिलेटिव सो ये लिमिट में आएगा दस प्लस पैतालीस एग्रीगेट इज फिफ्टी फाइव एक्सीडिंग फिफ्टी टैक्सेबल देखो दिस इज नॉन रिलेटिव She is not a member. Only member is relative in case of H U F. Nitisha is a member, so this is non-taxable. Relative हो गया ना? Immovable property में aggregate लेते हैं अपन. तो share का दस हजार, jewellery का forty five.
not a capital asset खाली रिसिप्ट ऑफ कैपिटल एसेट ही आई एफ एस अट्रैक्ट करेगा सो दिस टंग ट्विस्टर्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एर एग्जामिनेशन पर्पज अचीविंग गुड मार्क्स अगर कोई एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट हॉस्पिटल्स वगैरह होता बट डेफिनेशन में नहीं है ना कार तो ठीक है सो अगेन दिस नंबर फोर विल बी होमवर्क फॉर नेक्स्ट क्लास ओके इसको आप लोग होमवर्क में करके आइएगा चलिए बाय बाय